So you wanna take photos tethered to an iPad, but touch them up in real time? Let's show you Evoto's new iPad app and let's look at it right now. So like I said, I'm gonna walk you through Evoto's new iPad tethering. Now I did a video the other day about the overall retouching and how the app works compared to the computer version. We're talking about the iPad tethering now and I have been practicing with it this morning. It is incredible. It is so good, it's so quick. Compared to Capture One's tether, it is about the same time frame to send a photo. Now I'm doing wired tether, but the upside is you can actually do the retouching and then apply it to every photo after that. Now, one caveat with that is, is when you do the retouching, it does slow the transfer down just slightly, but I'm talking 10 to 15 seconds. So let's get in here. I have Mackenzie with me today. She's in her sparkly Taylor Swift outfit. I was like, I need a model. And she's like, I have a sparkly outfit that I wore to Taylor Swift. I'm like, let's do it. So with that being said, I had no idea what I wanted to do for a backdrop, but my friend Chris Grande sent me over this backdrop, this crazy butterfly backdrop and said, good luck. So it's been sitting in my storage like for probably a year. And just this morning I was like, this would be the perfect setup for a Swifty. So let's go ahead, let's do this. Um, shout out Taylor Swift if you're watching, I know you never are, um, but we're gonna get her in here and I'm gonna show you. So I'm gonna pop the screen up right now and show you how this works. I will have it up in a corner somewhere so you can see what's going on on my iPad and then we'll just real time it and I'll take a few photos and show you. Now I haven't applied anything to the photos yet. Mackenzie, step, step over this way just a little. Too far, baby steps this way. And then step forward three or four, there we go. So what I'm gonna have you do is I'm actually gonna have you turn your body this way just a little. You're gonna turn your shoulders back this direction. There we go. And you're gonna kind of be looking cross body here. Turn your shoulders even more. So it's gonna get almost uncomfortable. There we go. And then bring your head across back this way. So we have this photo here. This is the first tether that came through. Now what I'm going to do is because this was just kind of a test fire and a shot to get my editing going. So now what I would do is I would have my client just kind of hang out for a second. I'm gonna apply a real quick retouch to it and then that way I can just continue going. Now, you don't wanna take a ton of time to do this, so just do a real quick one, but because of the video, I wanna show you a little bit more what you can do. And we're just gonna go through and we're gonna do it like we would any other retouch. So let's go ahead and we're gonna do the freckle and acne remover. We are going to do the body blemish here. So you can see we're already kind of changing the way that this looks. I'm gonna go on down here and I'm going to do the um, neck wrinkle and the double chin. Now she doesn't have a double chin, but like I've said in all of my other editing videos when I'm using a photo, I love that double chin because it actually just defines it and gives a little bit of a false shadow there. So we'll go in, we'll go to skin retouching. We're gonna go face smooth, the dodge and burn. We'll add a little bit of dodge and burn to this and then we will do the body skin smoothing. So. At this time, I'm doing it quickly. You could have an assistant here doing it real quick and you could continue holding a conversation with your client or just let the client know they can check their TikTok or whatever they want for, for right now. So we will go ahead and AI unify face complexion and the body complexion. And then so I told her not to wear a ton of makeup because I wanted to make sure that I could add makeup to this and we will go ahead and we will go down to the makeup. So we're just gonna add a little bit of makeup here. I'm not gonna go through everything. We'll add a little bit of eyeshadow here, bring it back. Pull it back, oh, let's not do that one. Let's do this one. And then we're gonna go uh, blush. We'll add a little bit of blush here. We'll bring the blush back and we will contour her face just a little. Here we go. I wanna go back up to the top here and get rid of this. So there we go. We have this photo from this original photo here. Now. I would go in and I would touch it up even more later. But now we have that set up and we are ready to go. We could just continue shooting now and this is going to update every single one from there. So I'm gonna get you right here. So what I want you to do is I want you to kind of lean forward just a little bit and bring that chin up. So step this way, just a baby step this way. There we go. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take this shot. We're gonna see it bring it into Evoto, and then it will retouch it, and it will go ahead and change it. So there we go, we have the retouch. 
It is crazy how easy and quick this is working now. So now what I can do is I can have her move around and it's going to go ahead and retouch every photo. So then what I will do is later I'll finish retouching, fix anything that needs to be done, and then I can export the ones that I wanna use, my final images, directly from here and be good to go. So let's just take a few more here for example purposes. So what I want you to do is I want you, this is gonna be kind of, kind of funny and kind of weird. So I'm gonna have you turn that way Yep, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have you like kind of turn and spin. So let me see how your hair does when you do that. Perfect, that's what I want, okay? So looking right at the camera, so go ahead, turn that way. Um, no, it, whatever way it was just, so. Yep, so turn away from me. Yep, and then we're gonna do one, two, three, turn. One, two, three, turn. Let's do it one more time, I was a little late on that. One, two, three, turn. Oh, I missed the focus on that one. That was a me problem, not you. Go ahead, one, two, three, turn. Yeah. So then it brings it in, and then it's gonna apply that retouch, and there we go, we have a shot. Let's go ahead, so this is gonna get kind of funky. I don't know how we're gonna really pull it off. We'll just have to try but I need you to leave your body more turned this way when you do that hair flip. So I need you to just cut, yeah. Okay. So like, cause like right now on that shot, I'm just getting like a side profile of you where I want like a little bit more of a turn. So yeah, yep, yep. One, two, three, go. A little bit too much. Your head went kind of backwards on that one. Yeah, uh, let me get my focus here. One, two, three, go. Love it. Let's do it one more time. My hair didn't flip quite as much as I wanted it to. The app is working just incredible though. One, two, three, go. There we go. That was the hair flip right there. So look at this is how it comes up after the touch up and that is awesome. So now like we could go like, uh, yeah, I'm set up in a studio but I could take this on the go and just run with my camera with the tether. I have a 15 foot tether cable. Now I'm using a tether tools cable. They make 25 foot, 50 foot cables. They make all these long cables for pretty much every camera and an iPad. Like you could have someone just holding the iPad. You could be moving around. You could be on the go at different shoots. They also do implement wireless tether. I haven't tried it yet, so I can't speak on that. I always have problems with my Sony. Go ahead and give me some, some hate there. Uh, but I always have problems with my Sony and wireless tethering. It just never stays co connected. So I probably never would, but this is, this is awesome. Like you could take this, you could touch up a face, you could be good to go and just hit these bangers and take these banger photos all day long. So do I think this is something that's going to end up in my regular artillery? Yeah, absolutely. I've been using a photo for two years now and I've loved it, every bit of it on my computer. So to now have it in the iPad, Absolutely. This thing's going with me everywhere I go. You're going to see this in pretty much all of my videos. Now, if you want to try a Voto, you haven't tried it yet and you want 30 free credits. So the way that that works is you could tether all day long and those don't count towards your uh, credits. But every time you export, that's one credit. So if you export a photo, that's going to be one credit. So if you want to try 30 credits, 30 photos basically, you can go ahead and hit the link down in the description down below and that will get you 30 credits courtesy of me and a Voto. Also, if you want to take your photography even further and learn about content creation as a photographer, check out my online webinar. It is called the Photo Hustlers Blueprint and that is available, link in the description down below. Otherwise, if you wanna keep learning on YouTube with me, go ahead and check this video out right now because I think this one will really, really, really help you. I'll talk to you in the next video. Deuces.